Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me again. In this review, I'm going to talk about the Solar Auxilia LAS Rifle section. Uh, I'm going to do a review of the miniatures and the kit itself, and then I'm going to talk about the in-game rules and tactics for this unit. So the LAS Rifle section is a staple of the Solar Auxilia Force. Um, if you're going to play Solar Auxilia, you're going to have some of these guys. Yeah, well, at least I think you should. They're really a they're really character characterful for the force. So this in this set you get uh, twenty models. Um, they're not poseable as such because they're all in fixed positions. Although all twenty models are unique and different. Um, so yeah. So while you they don't have the poseability of marines, um, you know they are. You you still got a decent amount of uh, individuality there um, and. The way the kit's designed, it does keep the cost down by having fewer parts in as well, which is uh, certainly worth considering when your basic infantry unit uh, costs about £70 plus uh, for just 100 points of troops. Um, so let's have a look at a couple of these. So um, here is the commander. So I've now this is a conversion. Um, I've taken the power fist from the Velataris storm section and convert and remodeled it and converted it onto these. And same with this weapon here. This is a blast pistol again from the Velataris. But I did this because I just wanted to add some uh, some individual individuality to my unit. Um, the heads. I this is a a conversion on the head. Um, and I've done it to make the commander look like he's uh, signaling over his shoulder for his troops to follow um, and what I did do then is you see these because this is a helmet off a different um, off I think it was from the nuncio box operator uh, I had to add a bit of cabling in to connect his air hoses up uh, to his supply yeah nice models uh, let's have a quick look at the um, Oops, camera doesn't want to play ball today. There we go. Uh, there's an Uncio Vox operator. So he's got the, uh, he's kind of gesturing in a particular direction. And he's uh, got the communications array on his back. Uh, and then the we've got the troop vexilla as well. Um, very nice looking miniature. This vexilla is a two part assembly uh, it's quite fragile. What I've done is, if you watch my video about the um, about reinforcing banners with wire, I've drilled out the whole length of this and there's a and into this backpack and there's a long metal pin that runs through that to make sure it's strong. So, yeah, no chance of it breaking. Um, let's have a look at one more of these troopers. The detail on these guys is lovely, and um, the styling's very nice. Um, I've mentioned before, you know, I think there's some real design cues coming from the noughts, from the 2000, 2000 AD uh, Rogue Trooper cartoon series. And uh, got some grenades. They're all wearing what's called void armor, which is like an armored spacesuit. So all these uh, guys, so they're all sealed. They've also got a bit of a sort of a Bit of a like steampunky look almost to them. They're all wearing these uh, rebreather equipments on the on the back. When you're building these, um, you can see there's this little like arm, which is kind of you imagine this is a diaphragm and it pumps away. Um, those can be quite easily snapped off, so just be, so I'd be very careful when I was handling them not to break it. Just one to watch out for there. And another, I'm going to find another model just to illustrate the. Um, other thing to watch out for when you're assembling these guys. Um, so all of the suits have got these cables that connect their arms, uh, the air system into the gloves to keep the suit pressurized. These cables, the, the LAS rifle and hands are a separate piece on every model. Um, and when you're assembling them, these cables here are ever so easy to snap off 
they're, they're really quite fragile. What you tend to get is a like it's you get like a a, um, a shim or a, a panel of resin that fills that in. So what I would advise, and what I did on once I deduced this, is I I left that in until I'd stuck the uh, laser rifle on uh, and glued, made sure that the cable was glued to the connector, and then finally I removed the shim out from that, um, and that way I avoided breaking them. I'd quite I'd broke quite a few to start with until I figured that technique out. Um, I stuck them all back on so I didn't lose any, but it took time. Um, the bayonet is an optional equipment. You can um, that isn't attached to the large rifle, so you can put it on if you want or not. If you do decide to attach them as bayonets, um, there's a you see the lug attachment point just here. I would very carefully cut that a little bit wider uh, this way, sort of a in section. Uh, and just to make a bit more space for the handle of the knife to slot into. And then it actually slots in really quite snugly and it holds really well. And these are actually pretty strong when they're attached. But if you don't do that, they'll be a bit, they'll be a bit easy to ping off. Um, you do get quite a few spare parts, so you'll, you'll, you'll have some spares left at the end, a few heads and what have you. Um, so yeah, overall a very nice kit, um, 20 guys so it'll take you a while to build, um, but yeah, very good. So let's move on and talk about the rules for the LAS rifle section. So the LAS rifle section um, is 100 points, it's you know 20 troops for 100 points, it's very cheap. Uh, they're all armed with void armor, which is a void hardened suit of armor with a 4 plus armor save, so uh, they're tough, these guys will get saving throws against bolt gunfire. Um, their standard weapon, the LAS rifle, is a rapid fire 30 inch range LAS gun. It also comes with a collimator. And the collimator means they can fire a heavy two shot at a range of 36 inches. So, in a gun line, these guys put out a lot of firepower. Um, and I have outshot Marines, oh, 20 man Marine squads with a couple of these units. Um, just through sheer volume of fire over distance when the Marines were cocky and thought, oh, it's just a, just some solo auxiliary, we can march these guys down. Well, they were wrong. And just grinding them down, inflicting a few casualties every turn, uh, they triumphed. Um, you can further upgrade the LAS rifle with what's called a blast charger for 25 points. Uh, and that allows them to take a strength six heavy one shot um, now, that's you could use it against Marines, but you're better off firing standard shots, unless you fire it in iron hands where you're uh, losing a point of your uh, attack strength. You're better off using your normal laser, LAS rifle fire against Marines, particularly for Overwatch where uh, you get um, an improved ballistic skill. But the blast drive, the blast charger is particularly useful against tough Mechanicum robots, uh, e.g. Castellax and even Thanatars. It means you can actually damage a Thanatar uh, just with your LAS gun. So, um, yeah, makes them a very versatile infantry unit and compensates for their lack of heavy weapons. Um, so, they're pretty. Every squad, they get frag and crack grenades, they get a close combat weapon. Um, the sergeant has a number of pistol and close assault weapon choices. Um, you can upgrade one sergeant in every tercio to be a troop master which gives him like a minor hero human profile with two wounds um you can give the sergeant melt bombs so pretty pretty versatile one troop choice uh, is is a single section and in that section you can have up to three set um three sections making up what's called a tercio and the tercio only takes up one slot in your force organization um so yeah you can get a lot of troops for your slots. Um, right, there's a couple of there's a couple of special rules that the Solar Auxilia have that gives them a fighting chance uh, against the legions. Uh, the first is disciplined fire. Disciplined fire means that their Overwatch attacks are taken at ballistic skill two, so that basically doubles the effectiveness of your Overwatch fire and. The way I play these is to camp objectives and be a gun line. 
Uh, so there is a fair chance you're gonna get charged and having that extra close combat, uh, sorry, that extra overwatch punch is, is very useful. Um, the next rule they have is called close formation fighting. With this rule, as long as you're in base-to-base -base contact with another member of your Solar Auxilia squad, uh, you gain plus one weapon skill. So you can offset uh, the, the Legionary's natural advantage um, in melee ability to a degree. Now, you have to bear that, bear in mind you have to sort of balance that because if you group your squad up like so, then you just become a very uh, a sitting duck for um, blast and template weapons. And in the legions, there are some weapons that you have to watch out for, uh, particularly whirlwind launchers, which will make mincemeat out of your solar auxilia because of AP4. So you get no armor save against those. So you have to use close formation fighting carefully and, pre and use it sparingly to win and preempt your opponent's charge. Uh, and then the final rule they have um, is called hold the line. Um, and simply this is, if you're within 12 inches of another squad from the same tercio, uh, and as long as the other squad isn't falling back, if you re-roll any sixes for pinning or, that, or morale checks um, caused by psychic or shooting phase attacks, uh, you can re-roll that six. So if you get a double six or a six and a three and fell against your leadership eight, it gives you a chance to recover that rule. And if you couple that with the um, Lord Marshal's high leadership stat of 10, their, their morale becomes absolutely rock solid and arguably better than the Legion, uh, the Legion's morale. So there you have it. Um, that is a review of I think I've covered everything there. Uh, a couple of bits of equipment. I, we've talked about the Troop Vexler. They get a Nuncio Vox, a standard, so that fits well with the uh, artillery options that you can have in the Solar Auxiliary Army. Yeah. So there's an overview of the LAS Rifle Troop Section, the backbone of your infantry in the Solar Auxiliary Army. I hope you found this an interesting review. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching indeed, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.